Cold War. It is a series of conflict that started from 1946 with Iron Curtain speech by Winston Churchill to the collapse of the U. USSR or Soviet Union in 1991. Basically, by Iron Curtain speech, it divided Europe into two sides by an Iron Curtain. The first side being Western or capitalist bloc, and the second being Eastern or communist bloc. From then on, the world has been divided into two different blocs. The first being the capitalist bloc. Led by the United States of America, and they believe in capitalism in general. As for the other side of the world, they are the communist bloc, led by Soviet Union, and they believe in communism in general. So why is this called Cold War? For hot war, it means. That the countries in conflict fight directly with each other using guns and bombs. Therefore, there's fire and it's hot. Whereas in Cold War, there's no direct fighting, so no fight involved. So it's a Cold War. Then how did they fight? They fought in five ways. Number one, arms race and ra- space race. By arms race, they compete with each other. By having more nuclear weapons, such as atomic bomb and hydrogen bomb, but they do not use these weapons directly on each other. They just use it as a way to scare each other off. As for space race, it's a competition between U.S. and U.S.S.R. in terms of how far they can send people. Outside the Earth to the space. Number two, propaganda. They use political posters and education, etc., to educate their people that the opposite bloc and their ideas are bad, and their own ideas and bloc is the better one. Let's take a look at these posters. For example, by capitalist bloc, they show how. Communism is the bad side of the war, whereas for communist side, they show themselves as being more powerful and the heroes of the earth. Number three, spying activities, which means that they send spies to other blocs countries in order to get information from each other. Number four, proxy wars, or so-called indirect wars. Basically, the idea is that they send military support to their allies who are fighting with each other, and then fought through their allies instead of directly with each other. The side that won during the fight will means that, for example, USSR won or US won the war. An example of such proxy war is the Korean War, fought in 1950 to 1953. During the Korean War, is a war between North Korea and South Korea. But behind the scenes, USSR provided support to North Korea, whereas America sent their military support to South Korea. So they are fighting behind the scenes through their allies, which is North Korea and South Korea. This is what we call as proxy war. For the final way they fought with each other, they formed military and economic rival camps. For example, in 1948, because right after the Second World War. Europe was still in a state of economic difficulties. They are still pretty poor, and they still need help. So, the Americans introduced a plan called Marshall Plan, which is a financial aid plan 
exclusive for capitalist states. So, in order to prevent communist states to join com- capitalism, just for the financial aids, so USSR promoted a similar plan called Molotov Plan. Whereas in 1949, when the Americans state that they should unite their military into a single military camp called North Atlantic Treaty Organization (NATO) in 1949, the USSR retaliated by introducing another military camp of similar. Nature in 1955, which is the Warsaw Pact. So, in conclusion, Cold War was a series of conflict from 1946 to 1991, starting with the Iron Curtain speech by Winston Churchill between capitalist bloc. Led mainly by the USA, and communist bloc led by the Soviet Union. There were no fighting between US and USSR during this period of time. However, they fought using the following five methods: number one, arms race and space race. Number two, propaganda. Number three, spying activities, in order to get information about each other. Number four, proxy wars or indirect wars with each other through their allies. Number five, formation of rival military and economic camps, such as Marshall Plan and Molotov Plan. So this is the end of my video, and thank you for watching.